Alright, let's make sure the audio is up and everything. The stream's up too. Or we can just wait for a 30 second ad to go through. Our grid, very good indeed as well. Uh, hang on. Okay, just making sure my eyes good. Oh, I just wasn't sure. Anyway. Are you just trying to get a reaction out of me sparring by saying full quality? Because I think that's what you're trying to do. Alright. Well, let's go and get going then, I guess. Welcome to round six of the America series here on Race Pick Esport, uh, Esports on K1997. Your commentator for this race, and this time we are racing at the Albert Park Circuit in Melbourne, Australia for the Australian Grand Prix. Introduced into the Formula One calendar in 1996 as the new home of the Australian Grand Prix for Formula One lies the 3.28 mile racetrack here in Albert Park, which uh, used to be home to the opening round of the F1 Championship for quite a significant time until 2020 came along when COVID pretty much brought that to a halt and would be absent from 2020 to 2021. It brought it in though in 2022, the newly reconfigured uh, Albert Park racetrack to provide more overtaking opportunities. It also has become one of the more faster street circuits on the calendar as well. The circuit consists of 14 turns and four DRS zones. Yes, there are four DRS zones now. Of course, around here in Albert Park. Uh, used to be three in 2022. Last year, they brought in four um, for uh, the Australian Grand Prix, I should say. I don't know where I was going with that, but anyway. Yeah, the reason that they didn't do four from 2022 was because uh, of uh, safety reasons. So now we have DRS zones that down the main straightaway to turn one, the exit of turn two leading to turn three, exit of turn seven leading to turn nine, and then at the exit of turn 10, lean up to turn 11. Of course, the uh, that's not the only thing that's also been changed around. Of course, they uh, the, some of the cores have been either reprofiled or widened. Turn 1 and 2 has been much um, wider to some degree. Uh, of course, they got rid of that uh, chicane that was turns 9 and 10, not the fast chicane that you see today, but it was a uh, chicane before that that used to be there. They got rid of that, and now it's just a long straight uh, that goes down the backside of the lake, leading to the fascia cane of turns 9 and 10. One, probably the most uh, significant part of the racetrack. And then, of course, uh, turn 11 is much sharper as well. 
But other than that, that's pretty much the only changes that they made here in Albert Park ever since then. Now before we go fully focused to qualifying, just to go through some news, um, there is no reports that were um, reported by the drivers last week. As a result from last week at Singapore, everything stands uh, with Rebel claiming the win. And uh, I, let me make sure um, I get this all correct. Because um, I need to make sure I got the standings up. Yeah, because I think it said Rebel got the win, and I believe it was J and P2, if I'm not mistaken. Nope, it was Drag King that got P2, and then uh, Professor Phil got P3. Speaking of that, uh, that's now where I'm leading up to the Drivers' Championship. Rebel, who leads the way on 135 points, is absent for this race, so there are some opportunities for some drivers to catch up to him in the Drivers' Championship. He had a 100% podium record before this, uh, or come before this race, and looks like that's going to be long gone. So, Re Rebel 135, followed by JM in second with 94. That's 41 points behind our current championship leader. That's Professor Phil with 79 points. Geo in fourth with 76. Drag King with 42. Take her easy in sixth with 36. Along with Black Bulla, uh, tied along with him. Suffolime is in eighth with 33. Lil Mo in ninth with 32. And rounding off the top 10 is Lil Nas with 31 points. Constructors Championship is Williams leading the way on 147 points, followed by McLaren in second on 139. Red Bull Racing on third with 137. Ferrari on fourth with 86. Alfa Romeo in fifth with 82. Mercedes in sixth with 75. Haas in seventh with 62. Avatar in eighth with 59. Alpine in ninth with 46. And Aston Martin rounds it off with 13 points. But that's it. In terms of the news, we'll now fully focus into qualifying here. As I said, there's a full 20 car field. That's very good to see indeed. But uh, let's see. I see one driver on the medium side. That's Lil Mick. Him and Star Harmon are the only ones on the medium. So he'll be seeing his first time on the medium compound tire with a Ferrari giving him a sneaky little toe. Drag King puts the first time with an 18.4. Lil Mick goes to P2 with an 18.6 on the medium tire. And that's pretty much where it stands for him for now. Coral on the outlap at the moment. Black Bull on the outlap as we speak. Geo has invalidated his lap time. Trevor goes to P3 with a 19.7. Uh, let's see. How far back is Coral? I think he's at Sector 2. At the end of Sector 2. So, let's see here. Blockman has invalidated his lap time, so his lap won't count, obviously. Saucy heading up around turns 13 and 14, probably the slowest area of the track. Need to make sure you modulate the throttling very good. Get as much track, uh, sorry, get as much traction as you can. Saucy's time will be a 20.5. I think since Coral will be next to start a lap while along with the Red Bull driver and give you a proper tour here at Albert Park. He's also rocking uh, the Aussie colors there. I like to see up towards the first turn, breaking before the uh, 50 board down to fifth. Using all the curves at turns 1 and 2. Open the DRS heading up towards turn 3. See what kind of peak speed. Go revving the car out at 7th gear. Down to 3rd. Gets a nice little turn in there through turn 3. And turn 4. Maybe has a short shift just a little bit there. Through turn 5. It's a flat out corner right hander. Up towards now turn 6. It's been now actually adjusted. That's one part I actually didn't mention. It's been more adjusted now turn 6. Through 7. And then through this little kink here turn 8. Now into the back side of the lake. Open the DRS once again. Up towards now turns 9 and 10. The trickiest part of the racetrack here at Albert Park. You got, it's a very fast. You can't flick the car left, flip the car right. And then open the DRS again. And up towards turn 11. Big speed about 197. Doesn't bother touching 8 gear to keep it in 7 at the entrance to the corner. Through turn 12. Up towards turn 13 and then around turn 14 did kind of it kind of did look a little bit clumsy I will be honest there from foil there turn 13 but he sets a benchmark time anyway for pole position with a 17.5 four tenths clear nearly of uh, Captain Schmeg Suffolk does an 18.3 Honey Bee as we just saw a few bit minutes ago or a few seconds ago did an 18.3 as well 
And yes, we'll see more times coming on the board very, very shortly. Bolo Rocco going into the pit lane. New driver I've never seen before. I think he's just joined in race spec. Just, uh, excuse me. Uh, I think he joined like last week or something, if I'm correct. Professor Phil up towards turns six, seven, and eight. He's apparently purple to the first sector, according to the track map. As the Ferrari will head up towards the 910 car plus. There are three cars in front of him, as you can see on your screen. Uh, it looks like there won't be too much of a problem, I don't think. Or oh, maybe missing the apex or just quite a bit there at turn, uh, turn 10. Yes, up towards the heavy braking zone of turn 11, down to third. Doesn't bother using all the outside curve there. You want to use, you kind of want to use all the curve as best you can, just to find the limits around here at Albert Park. Although it is quite tricky, and I kind of understand if you want to be a bit cautious on your first lap, considering that this track is quite harsh for sure. Phil crosses the line, does it 18.2, goes P3 for now. But yeah, I have a feeling for this race, we're going to see a race of attrition, for sure. I would not be surprised if we see a heavy amount of safety cars. Blotman nearly had a massive slide at the exit of turn one. I think that was from him clubbing all the curve there on the inside at turn one, and I think he's backed out. Or has he? Mm. No, he's still pushing. I thought for a minute he, he just looked like he went a bit slower in that corner to me. First sector says he's at a 27.2 to the uh, first sector. He heads up towards now the end of the middle sector with DRS wide open. Hey, up towards turns 9 and 10. See what kind of smill sector he's got. It's a 44.9 purple, but like I said, I don't think that's leg uh, said before. I don't think that's quite legitimate uh, considering the sector times. I think the range he would be at would be right about where Professor Phil is, considering those were almost identical to his sector times. Using all the curve there at turn tw uh, 12, down towards turn 13, modulates the throttle in again. Around the final corner now goes the Mercedes, and heads up towards the start finish line. Blockman will do an 18.1, that's good enough for P3. For now, Lil Mick goes to P2 with a 17.6. That's a very good lap time by Lil Mick. Taker is across the lines with an 18.8 .8 to end his lap. Jay, heading up towards the end of the middle sector comes the Williams car. As there's more times coming on the board as well. I think that was Spy doing the last time there with an 19.1. Jay up towards turns 9 and 10. It gets through there all right. Up towards turns 11. And, uh, sorry, turns el uh, turn 11. Goodness me, my English is all over the place again. Gets through there very good. That's pretty much what you want to do right there. Just use all the curve as best you can. Just to maximize any sort of width of the racetrack. As he heads around the final two turns of the racetrack goes the Williams. Back onto the main straight. What will the time be for Jay? It's going to be a 17.569. He only gets up to P2 for now. He's just about half a tenth behind Coral who's currently sitting on pole position. Uh, let's see here, Gio. I think we can see what he can come up with. He's definitely one of the front runners, I say here, to try to get pole position. See what he can do as he heads up towards the middle sector. DRS open. Get, look like he tried to get a bit of a sneaky toe, I think, there from his teammate. 44.3 from the McLaren driver. It uses all the curb. They're at turns 9 and 10. He maximized all the curve as best he could. And he heads up towards now turns uh, turn 11 and then into turn 12 pretty shortly. That looks very clean there from the McLaren, but he's got traffic in front. Oh, that might have distracted him quite a bit. And the... Oh, yeah. I probably would say that might have distracted him quite a lot as he lost the back end. And I think he missed the gear. Does this 18-0. He definitely has a lot more time in that, but yeah. That traffic really, really cost him big time. Yeah, just clearly, clearly distracting the McLaren driver. 
Colorado will cross the line. Shorely does a 25.5. Uh, oh, he must have invalidated this in the next one. Uh, that being the lap, that is. Honey B is down by two tenths to the first sector. I don't think he'll necessarily improve. How about Captain Schmeck? He's up by just over a tenth and a half to the first sector split. Heads up towards now. Turns nine and ten. DRS wide open for the McLaren. Currently sitting at P4 at the moment. Let's see what the middle sector says for him. He's up by a tenth as Black Ball has crashed out of the final corner. That's it for him in qualifying then. Let's see. I. Uh, Oh, I just missed out. His car was parked out of the final core. I'm guessing he must have lost the back end or something. My rough guess is he hit the pit wall on the right-hand side. And I think... Oh, that's the wrong McLaren. That's the McLaren I was going for. Oh! oh! Yep, Captain Schmeg has done a mistake at the final core as well. And add to more insult to the wounds. He's damaged a bit of his front wing. <laughs> yep, that thing was gone after that. Ah, uh, here comes Coral. What will be the first sector for the Red Bull? Cl clock says for him. He's down by 75,000. There's more yellow flags in front of him. That's for an Alpha Tire, I believe, out of fuel. Or probably just gain out of the way. Coral, to the middle sector. What will it be for you? 15,000 down, but... Still can find time. Looks like he got there pretty good there through turns 9 and 10. Up towards turn 11. Down to third. Of the inside apex. Use the outside curve at the exit of turn 11. Now into turn 12. And then into the slowest part of the track of turns 13 and 14. Second gear and short shifting up to third. Now up to fourth on the exit or mid apex at the final corner. Down the main straightaway. Can call improve? He does, by 59 thousandths to a 17.4. Drag King, up by two and a half tenths to the first sector. He makes his way up towards turns nine and ten. What will it be to the middle sector for him? He's up by three tenths of a second, just over three tenths. Uh, but not anymore. He really used all the curve on the outside there, turn ten. And his lap is, in, well, unfortunately, has invalidated just like that. Let's see. I think Stuffly might be peeling back into the pits. Yep, yeah, there he goes. Yeah, so he's not going to improve his lap time at all. Colorado has destroyed his front wing. He's going back into the pits for car number 12. That's a little history lesson too. Car number 12 was uh, driven by none other than the great Ayrton Senna as well back when he was driving in Formula 1. Dirt Saucy up towards the start finish line for the Aston cannot improve on his time. He stays 17th. As Phil goes back into the pits and Gio is back on track. Just got about three minutes left here in this qualifying session. And also, I failed to mention, but the, I did get a weather report from Sparty. He said that it's going to be dry throughout the entire session, so there will be no rain coming our way. Alright, so Gio, let's see what he can do. This will be his second run. Yeah, the first run, though, he had uh, quite a bit of traffic that impeded him. At turns uh, 13 and 14. I think he might have more coming his way. He's about to start his lap. Hopefully the traffic will cooperate. Thankfully they do. But I really would suspect that it's really distracting for Gio. To deal with all the traffic that he has to co co uh, co uh, cope with there. That's what I meant to say. Cope with. Alright. He got through the first four turns. Okay. He's gone through turn five. Now into the first sector. He's up by just nearly a tenth to the first sector. He heads up towards now turns 
uh, at 9 and 10 with the DRS wide open. He's got more traffic. That's a Mercedes in front of Blotman, considering that Suffolime is in the pits. Blotman gets out of the way. Geo has... Oh, he's run wide. I was going to say he lost a bit of time, but uh, more, more salt into the wound. He's also invalidated the lap, so that's... I think that could be t potentially it, considering that he doesn't have much fuel in the car. And not only that, his battery's low. Alright, little Mick, he's about to start what will be his final flying lap. About a minute 25 to go, so he's got to make this lap count. Through turns 1 and 2, goes the Aston Martin. Down towards turn 3, DRS wide open down the second DRS straight. Breaking hard, down to third. Ha uh, hugs the inside, apex. Through turn 4, again modulates the throttle there. Now to the flag section of turn 5 as Aquito has retired from the session. He's not going to further go forward to qualify. He's actually crashed out, as a matter of fact, at turn two. Little Mick, though, is up by nearly over 75 thousandths to the first sector. Heads up towards nine and ten. What will be the clock to the middle sector? As Geo's in the pit lane, as you can see on your screen. He's found nearly three tens. That's a big, big margin. Oh, but he's got to keep it within the white lines. He does. Oh, he just does. That might have cost him time, though, by making that little mistake there at turns 9 and 10. It's such a corner that you have to get right. Otherwise, you don't. You will uh, suffer the consequences. Can Lil Mick, though, find any time here in this final sector? Around the final corner now. Down the main straight. Will this be enough for pole position? It is enough for now with a 1 minute 17.2. He's just ahead of Coral, who's up by nearly three tenths to the first sector. Captain Schmeg coming up to the first sector as we speak. He's up by nearly three tenths of a second. Drag King goes to fourth with a 17.8. Jay's lost a bit of time as Coral spun. He has spun at turn 10. That's it for qualifying for Coral. He was up by three tenths of the first. I don't know what it was in the middle, but he is out to qualify. And that's it. Best person that could probably get Lil Mick, I say, is the Williams driver of Jay. Can he get him here? He needs to get through these final two turns as best he can. Around the final corner and out. Back onto the main straight. He'll get a tow from an Alpine car. What will it be for Jay? Is it enough? The answer is no. He misses out by just two tenths. Captain Schmeg up by three tenths. Let's see what he's got around the final corner now. Back onto the main straight. Will he get pole position? Oh, he misses out by just three hundredths of a second. But that's it. That's qualifying. That's Lil Mick on pole position here for the Australian Grand Prix with a 117.297. A mega, mega effort by the Aston Martin driver. Also, there's enough block man went up to fifth as well. He's up with a 17.7. So he managed to get at least a competitive time on the board. Yeah, what's an end to qualifying there for Australia, for sure. Well, yeah, I would have been curious to know what would have been Geo's time. What would have been Coral's time, as a matter of fact. Had they not had any sort of shenanigans happen to them. They did look mightily quick. But Lil Mick is the quickest overall here in this session. 23 thousandths. I said 300s initially. It's 23 thousandths separating between uh, him and Captain Schmidt. Coral will start in P3. Jay will start in P4. Blotman, a solid effort, P5, Drag King, P6, another good driver, a good effort from a uh, Drag King. Geo, Suffoline, Professor Phil, Honeybee, Harmasis, Taker Easy, Craig, Smarty, Black Bola, Trevor, Jerchi Saucy, Cola Rocco, Style Harmony, and Laquito will round off the rest of the grid. I think if I am correct too, this is also Lil Mick's first pole position in the uh, America series. 
Yeah, didn't have to use the unequal performance to do it. <laughs> Yeah, we'll wait about another two more minutes to get going, I suppose. <clears throat> now we're just trying to get the strategies gone. Uh, let's see what strategies. Yeah, sorry, strategies on what uh, sort of strategy they can use, etc. And yeah, we'll get underway shortly. Yeah, you may have noticed as well, we didn't have any of the Aussies, the uh, Pacific side of th uh, things, do their race uh, last night or over the weekend. That's because of the Australian Grand Prix that happened over the weekend, is why we didn't get that. So, we'll be seeing them back in action this coming week, uh, weekend, and then next week. And uh, I think for the American Series, though, we'll have about a... Uh, we'll we'll be on a break on ourselves, a uh, break ourselves. Sorry, because of Easter that's coming up this weekend. So yeah, it'll be good to have a little bit of a break and also just watch and see what the boys from the Pacific side of things do. All right, well, here we go. We got the lights coming on and 28 laps in front of us, or 29 laps in front of us, and we are underway here in Australia. It's a good start, it looks like, from the Aston Martin of Lil Mick. Coral gets a better start as well compared to Captain Schmeg as they head up towards turns one and two. Yellow flags at the back as well as the cars go through turns one and two. There might have been an incident, I think, involving sub for alignment. Take her easy as they drop towards the back of the grid. Up towards turn three we go. Blockman down the outside of turn three. He gets through ahead of the Williams of Jay around turn four. Geo gets, uh, tries to stay ahead of Drag Kane through turns four and five as they make their way down the backside of the lake for the first time in racing conditions. As Aquila's already got a three second penalty for multiple warnings. Really, already on the first lap. Ferrari scrapping away. Harmacis, Professor Phil, and Honeybee battling away here at turn. Up towards turns 9 and 10. So yeah, Alpine has the inside of one of the Ferraris. Can he get the move stick? He can. He's got it done. He's now up into... Uh, oh, hang on. Sorry. He's up into ninth. Geo, uh, Drag King, and Jay's dropping back quite a bit. Something's going on with him. As Drag King now gets by, he's now up into fifth position ahead of Geo. Ferrari uh, scrapping away there. That's Harm Assist, I think, trying to battle away with Honeybee. I think I might have saw there with those jockeying for position. Top four, meanwhile, has started to broke away from Drake. And a spin in the background. That's a Ferrari. That's Armistice. Spinning out of the final turn. Making a big mistake there. He drops all the way down to 17th. As, oh, Captain Schmeg makes a mistake. Out of turn two. That allows Blockman to get through. He's up into third position. Tires for everybody. Two, top two on the mediums. Blockman on the soft compound tire. Him and uh, Gio are the first two on the uh, top six that are on the soft compound tire. 
as uh, Captain Schmeg on the mediums, Jack King on the mediums as well. Jay right behind on the mediums, along with Professor Phil Honeybee is the leading runner on the hard compound tire. As we have towards turns nine and ten, Jay are looking down the inside of that converts to the outside. Okay, up towards turns nine and ten, but cannot outrun the Haas, who seems like he's got the better straight line speed compared to him. He needs to make moves quickly with those soft tires, make the most of them. He won't be close enough on this occasion to do anything. Up towards turns 12 and 13 we go. Oh, that's Coral nearly running to the back of Lil Mick. That was a big time lockup, I think, there from the, the Red Bull car. As Blotman's looking like he'll get the opportunity to close up. Sets the fast lap of the race. We head up towards turns one and two. Plotman right behind Coral. Captain Schmeg losing ground though. It's now become a three-way fight for the lead now from what it looks like. As DRS is now enabled here. Colorado gets a three-second penalty. Also the Quito I have seen is 20 seconds back. He must have pitted for damage. So yeah, he'll need a safety car to get him somewhat back into this race. As we head down the back side of the lake, Coral bringing pressure to the Aston Martin. He's going to have DRS. It should be straightforward for him, and he, it is straightforward. He gets into the lead of the race. Blockman can't do anything. He's still balked behind uh, the Aston Martin. He'll have DRS. The Aston Martin does not because it's only one detection zone for that particular DRS section. And Blockman gets into P2 ahead of Coral, but overshoots it. Definitely overshot the corner there at turn 12. Definitely had a bit of a mix up there. As Black Ball and, and Saucy are exchanging places. Captain Schmey, the lead a train behind. With a one point second gap between himself and Lil Mick trying to close up. We'll do so on this occasion here. Drag King right behind, not close enough to do anything on Captain Schmeg. Up towards turn three we go. Lot man not close enough. Neither is Lil Mick to do anything here. Captain Schmidt keeping the two cars behind and honest. That's actually bringing also Professor Phil now into the mix. And same with Jay. So now we pretty much got a uh, five car train it looks like here from fourth to eighth place. All right, Blotman's got DRS up towards turn nine. He's closing in. He backs off, not close enough. Drag King overtakes Captain Schmeg for fourth. Gets in front. Mercedes closing in, looking anywhere to go. He's going to the inside, but he backs off. He doesn't go for the lunge there at turn 11. He stays behind. It looked like he was, I thought it was close enough from what it looked like to me, but I guess Blotman just thought otherwise. Around turn 14 we go. Now he looks closer as Harmacist has crashed out. At turn 10, it's brought out the first safety car of the race. Now let's get right along with the queer to see where the car was and it disappeared. But the Ferrari is out of the race just like that on lap four here in Albert Park. Why is Ludozzi in here? Okay, interesting. <laughs> Harvestus has left the session, don't blame him after that. A few other cars have pitted as well, along with Bola. Bola's on the hard, same so with Taker Easy and Subfaline. Luquio stays out. Right, so wonder what the medium runners are gonna do here. I, I probably would assume that Blockman and Cap, uh, sorry, Blockman and Geo. I was going to say. I bet they're probably gonna go into the pits now. Maybe go into the hard tires. See how long they can go to the end. I probably wouldn't be too surprised if that were the case. I think for the medium runners, they might just stay out for a bit longer. But I think they want the fresher rubber compared 
to everyone else if they do paired. Coral doesn't go in. Neither does Blockman. Interesting. I thought he would have done so. Jiro, though, decides he will. That's what I was expecting. So he comes in, and I think someone else is coming as well. That's Jay in the Williams. Interesting. And it's not the hard tire, it's the medium tire. That also is very interesting. That's what I was expecting from what uh, Geo to do. And also Jay's jumped him in the pits. I think he's jumped him in the pits, and what, what it looked like to me. Jay was right behind Geo. Wow, how does that happen? <laughs> okay. So, yeah, Jay will try to go to the end. That's honestly something I was expecting. But yeah, I wasn't expecting Geo to go into the medium. So, he's going to have to two stop this race. The clear is back into the pits onto a set of medium compound tires, and away he goes. But yeah. I was not expecting that at all. But that's his call. What Gio's got to do now is just make the most out of that. He'll have the fresher tires. He'll have the more, he'll have more grip compared to some of the cars in front. So he's going to have to push like hell. What's Colorado doing? He just let take her easy through. Um, okay. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what was going on there. <laughs> Bit of a weird situation I just saw. Yeah, the top 10, though, did stay out, as you can see. Yeah, Jay's the only leading driver that's on a different, or uh, lean, uh, sorry, different tires. Leading car that had pit, uh, pitted. Spari also came into the pits, he changed onto a set of hard compound tires. So he'll carry those maybe to the end, is what he's going to gun for. Take her easy, a five second. What are these two doing? Take her easy, got a five second penalty for a collision between himself and Colorado. More importantly, why haven't they caught up to the cute? Now they have caught up. They weren't doing so earlier. Oh, I have no idea. Well, to add insult to the wounds for Colorado, he's also got front wing damage. And the safety car is coming in this lap. Ouch. Yeah, that's not good for Colorado. Alright, so the safety car is in this lap. Coral will lead the field then. To get the car back on... Uh, uh, get the car. Get the race uh, back under green. Got Blockman behind. He's still on the soft tire. Hasn't pitted yet. Lil Mick behind hasn't pitted yet. Same with Drag King, Schmeg, Phil, Craig, Honeybee, and Trevor, and then Saucy. Curious to know what J or Geo will do. How they will try to work their way through the field. I know what Jay's game plan is. I think Geo, though, will do a two stop. Coral's gunned it. He really has gunned it. He's really caught Blowman sleepy. Look at that. He's nearly got a seven and a half tenth margin. Well, it's not seven tenths, but yeah, he really caught him sleeping, it looked like. As we're back in the green, he took off before the penultimate corner. I'll be honest, that's something I probably would have done as well. Colorado, five second penalty for speeding in the pits. More insult to the wounds there for the Alpha Terry driver. So far, no one's really making any sort of moves. Jay hasn't really closed up enough to get by uh, Saucy. Oh! 
saucy. Doesn't look very strong through the corners compared to uh, Jay. There's Gia right behind as Bola gets by Saw Harmony. Saw Harmony dropped back, back a couple of positions. Here comes Jay to the left hand side. They try to get alongside the Aston. And like that, he is now ahead of the Aston Martin. He's into the top 10. Crucially into the top 10. Gio can't do anything there. He's not close enough. Oh, but Saucy runs deep. Has to cut the track. Does get, give the position though to Gio for making that sort of mistake. Jay not close enough to do anything on Trevor. Into turn 11. Up towards turn 12 we go. Will he go for a move here on the outside of turn 13? That's going to be very tight. Oh, but he goes onto the curve there. In fairness, so he, Trevor did give him a little bit of room. And like that, he's now into ninth. Geo, though, has closed up as well, but he's not close enough. Jay just needs to push on and carry forward. Catch up to the next car. The next car he's got to get by is Honeybee in the Alpine. The other Alpine. Ooh, bit of a moment there. A little like from Professor Phil. Tracking, though, has lost out to the top three from what it looks like to me. Subfalime overtakes Star Harmony as well. Up towards turns 9 and 10. We come. Blockman right on the gearbox of the Red Bull. Harmony gets a penalty. Multiple warnings. Not close enough as Jay overtakes the Alpine of Honeybee. Gets in front. He's now into eighth. Next target will be Craig in the Alfa Romeo. How about Gio? Can he find a way through? He hasn't really gained much uh, through here, it seems like. He hasn't really made any moves. Not that many moves compared to Jay. Remember, he was behind him during the safety car period. Somehow he got jumped in the pits. I have no idea how on earth he did. But somehow he got jumped in the pit lane. Up towards the first turn. Geo just doesn't seem like he has the straight line speed to get in front of Trevor. Alright, DR is now enabled. Blockman still right behind Coral. He's got little Mick for company behind as well. Probably well, we might guess what Splotman's going to do is go soft medium if he can. Oh, nearly lost the back end as Trevor has out. He has crashed out of turn four, and we've got another safety car that has been deployed. Well, well, well. Another safety car has been deployed in this race. Now is the time for the mean runners to pit. They have to go in. Yeah, the mean runners, they should, they'll obviously pit for the hards, but Blood Man pit for the mediums. I'll be honest, I have a feeling he might. He might take a gamble and go onto the mediums. You don't want to run to the back of the Red Bull, though. All right. And they come into the pits. Geo stays out. Really? Okay. He stays out. And yep, Blockman is on the mediums. As I thought he would. Everyone coming in for their stops. Blockman on the mediums. Coral on the hearts. Little Mick on the hearts as well. Dragkin on the hearts. Sparty stays out. And he gets in front. Of Drag King. And I think Blockman has jumped Coral in the pits. Because Blockman was right in behind Coral and now he's in front of him. Wow. That's the second time I've actually seen that happen. We saw that with Jay and Geo, and now we've seen that with Blockman and Coral. I don't did they I don't think they had to double stack, did they? Surely not. No, Red Bull surely didn't have to double stack. Laquia was way too far away. 
Yeah, way too far away to be in the pit lane. Like, he wasn't lapped or anything. Probably just got held up, I'm assuming, from all the cars that were trying to get into the pits. That's honestly the worst thing about being the first car in the pits. Or having the first pit box. Is that you get held up by traffic. And I feel that's what happened with Coral. Yeah, very interesting. So Craig stayed out. That is uh, something I would not have expected. He's still out there on those mediums. Those are the tires that he started the race on. Jay is stayed out as well. That's not surprising. I think this will help him as well to stretch those hards as long as he can. At least... Um, try to go for the win by going long on the hearts. G, of course, stayed out. I wonder how many laps he's going to get. <laughs> Is he going to try to go one stop? I, I mean, honestly, I don't see that happening. I feel like he'll have to go for another stop. Bullet did stay out as well. Same with Taker Easy. And he still carries that five second penalty he got between himself and Cola Rocco. Blockman obviously pitted for new me, and so he'll definitely be looking quick. Sub for life stayed out, and then of course the cars behind. From Coral down to Dirt to Saucy, pitted for new tires. Honeybee though pitted for mediums, then Saucy pitted for me mediums as well. Harmony though is on the softs, so I have no idea why. <laughs> then you got Laquito and the Colorado, they pitted for hard tires. Quite a big gap there between Ball and Digger Easy. I will say you need to be within 10 lengths of the, at minimum 10 lengths of the next car, but you really need to be like about a car length. Yeah, otherwise you get a penalty for dropping too far back. Safety car is back in this lap. We're on lap 12 of 29 here at Upper Park. See what's. Uh, Craig uh, will do on this restart. We saw what Coral did going at the penultimate turn. Craig doesn't do that. He just goes at the final turn. And we're back under green again. He has not stopped yet. He's the only car that has not stopped yet. Jay is right behind him as they head up towards turns one and two. Uses all the curve there at turn two as well. Does the Alfa Romeo. He's got the Williams though right next to him. Makes the move stick there into turn three. He gets it done. Pretty straightforward there. As Coyle goes around the outside of Stop for Lime. As at turn three. Oh, Drag King, Sparty. Sparty goes off the track and gets a three-second penalty. Multiple warnings. I guess that glitch there with uh, going off the track at turn four is still a bit of a thing. Although he didn't get multiple penalties. In fairness... Blockman overtaking Taker Easy as well. As Geo gets by Craig there. One Alfa Romeo gets overtaken at in front. The other one towards the a little bit behind is getting overtaken as well. Alright, so Black Ball now needs to pass Craig here in order to try to catch up to the leading pack. Right now they're looking like they're breaking away a little bit here. Gap is right now a second between Craig and uh, Geo. Black Bola though is losing time though. There, he did have a bit of a moment at turn 13. Block, block man right behind into turn one. Craig gets a penalty as well for multiple warnings. Up towards turn three we go. He's got the battery on this block man. Goes deep on the brakes. There it's a turn three. Goes way, way deep. Unfortunately, could not make the move stick there. Oh, it's G uh, Craig has spun. And he's out. Just like that. Another safety car comes out. Oh, my goodness. 
That's a clumsy way to do it, if I'm so fair. I don't think I've ever seen a car spin like that at turn four. I've only seen it times where it is, if you spin the car at turn four, you hit the left side wall. What Craig did, he did, you know, he did it to the right hand side wall. Okay, well, now what do you do if you're the leaders? Does Jay go in for new mediums, or does he stay out? Does Geo come in? I'm sure Geo comes in. He would be most likely to go into the pits. Okay, Jay's coming in, it looks like. Yep, same with uh, Geo. Blotman, I'm sure, will carry on, because he's on a fresh set of mediums. Jay goes on to a set of medium compound tires. They are going to lose so much track position. And I mean so much track position. He comes out in 11th ahead of Style Harmony. And Gio comes out in 14th behind Cole Rocco. Oh, what's going on here between these two? Wait, did Jay not beat Harmony out of the pits? Because those two were in shady places. No, it doesn't look like okay, so everything's all good. Well, there you go. Now Blotman is now your new race leader. After all that. It's now back to the original top three as it was at the start of the race. But the only question is for Plotman is how will those tires be at the end for him? Fortunate thing is that he won't be doing any sort of racing lap for a little while. So that will at least help the, the medium tires just a little bit. If I'm completely honest, I'd probably say Plotman is in a very good position. But... It's like I said, it depends how the tires are going to be at the end. Because Coral definitely will be good towards the end of the race. Those tires will be fine. And I could... Oh, gosh, Drag King nearly ran to the back of the Aston. I probably would say the same story for Little Mick. I probably would say he'll be in a really good situation as well. He has looked quite quick here at Albert Park. I wouldn't be surprised if that were the case that he would be still in the contention for the race win. Harmony goes back into the pits, meanwhile. Yeah, this has now been our third safety car of the race. There in Australia. I did say at the beginning that I wouldn't be surprised if we did see some safety cars coming out, and well, so far we've had three of them come out. I don't think, I feel like we haven't had that many green flag laps either. Well now we just gotta wait and see when the safety car lights go off and then we'll Get back under green shortly. Well, everyone has caught up. Alright, uh, looks like we're gonna be going front. Oh, no, never mind. Funny, I thought I would actually would have said that message earlier than that. The end of the middle sector is before the Shigai, not after it. So I'll see a five second penalty for a collision with Honey Bee. Jeez, a lot of penalties coming their way. Two drivers that have five second penalties. Colorado and Dirt's Aussie. Well, Colorado's got eight seconds, but that was the other one for multiple warnings. Homie's got three seconds and same with Sparty. Alright, when does Blockman go? Is the question. 
He's going now. He's doing the exact same thing that Coral did a few laps ago on the last time he let a restart. Blobman got that absolutely spot on, and he's gone as well. We're back in the green. Nearly eight-tenths the margin between Blobman and Coral at the exit of the final corner. Through turns one and two. Up towards turn three. Everyone getting through relatively fine as well. Jay has overtaken the Quito. That is a turn one and two. He's going to try to make the most out of those fresh tires. I wouldn't count him out of this race just yet. Especially with those fresh tires. Gio is overtaking Cole Rocco around the outside. He was up at the 12th position. The Quito, another penalty for multiple warnings. Up towards now, turns 9 and 10. Coral right now 6 tenths behind Blockman. There's Little Mick behind as well. Once again, they pull a gap as well between themselves and, and Drag King. This Drag King is now losing a bit of time to the to the three cars in front. Gio takes the Quio there. The Quio overshooting the corner there. Oh my goodness, he's got to be careful with that rejoin. Thankfully, rejoin safely. That could have been pretty b messy. Around the final corner, back onto the main straight. We begin lap 18 of 29. Blockman has still not pulled away yet, but Coral sets the fastest lap of the race with a 20.5. Give you an idea of the barrier situation. Hey, oh, Professor Phyllis spun. He's gone off at turns one and two. The Ferrari has had an incident dropping down all the way to last. So, oh! Oh my goodness, what has happened there? Another safety car. Colorado is out of the race. What on earth happened there? I went on board with Subfalime. Next thing you know, I see some carbon fiber come off. Was there someone that broke check? I didn't necessarily get the best of looks. But Carl Rocco is out and we've got another safety car. On lap 18 of this race. Oh my goodness. That's now the fourth safety car we have had in this race. So what does everyone do here? Do they go in for new tires or do they just stay out? Oh, you don't want to do that, Coral. You don't want to overshoot. He goes into the pits. Does Blockman and same with Coral. Lil Mick is in. Drag King in. Captain Schmeg is in. Sparty will come in. Jay is going to stay out. That is fair enough. Blockman's going to the soft tires to the end of the race. Soft tires, that looks like for literally almost everybody. Coral, though, is not on the soft tire. He's on the medium compound tire. That is very interesting. Oh, that's tight. I don't think Taker Easy got Blockman there. He just got out in front. Blockman stays in fourth ahead of Taker Easy. Star Harmony, who was at, at last of one point, is up to six. A lot of mixtures of strategies now. Coral on the mediums. Lil Mick on the softs. Drag King on the softs. Subfalime still on the medium tire. Captain Schmeg on the mediums. Sparring on the softs. Honeybee on the mediums. We have got a big mix. Top three stayed out. Jay is now the leader again. Geo is in second. Black Bull is in third. Oh, what kind of drama are we going to see here in this race? Yeah, I, I wonder what happened with Cole Rocco, because it looked, it looked like he might have got broken, sh broke check or something. Break checked or something like that. I don't know. The way his car was at, he was at the entry to turn three on the inside apex. Or inside part of the corner. Like, I 
I was just, I'm just genuinely confused about what happened there. Yeah, it's nothing but dra drama and a bit of chaos so far here in Australia. <laughs> Four safety cars. Four. Wonder if we'll get number five at this rate. I'm not sure what's going to happen. The chaos so far in this race has been something else. I mean, we should be getting back under green very shortly. We got all the cars that remain in this race still intact. All right, the safety car is back in again. And we've got, <laughs> we've got nine more laps to go once we get back across the line. Yeah, you can see flat ball just trying to get some temperature, weaving about a little bit. Cars in front, of course, doing the same thing, weaving about, getting temperature into their tires as best as they possibly can. When will Jake go here? It looks like he's going. Oh, he's going now. Well, there you go. And we are back under green once again here in Melbourne. Let's see if we can get through the last nine laps. Up towards the first turn. Everyone gets through relatively all right. The first uh, few cars, the first few cars get through all right. Up towards turn three, Blockman right behind Ball. He's on the soft tire. He'll be very quick for sure. Well, will it quick will he be? Coral goes around the outside of Star Harmony. He gets through. Up into P6 as Harmony goes wide and gets a penalty. Let's his teammate through. Let's drag him through and let's other cars through. Oh, that could have been nasty. Looked very, very shaky indeed. Meanwhile, the what man right behind ball again. He's got the slip. Well, he had slip shoot for a bit. He used up a bit of battery, but he's not close enough. Doesn't have the straight line speed, but we, he will have the grip. He gets through. He's up into third. Good move there from what man. He's now up into P3. Subflime also trying to make some moves. Gets by Drag King. Captain Schmeg 2 gets by him as well. P8 and 9. Around the final corner now. Back onto the main straightaway. We'll begin lap 22 of 29. Jay has got the fastest lap of the race with a 19.9. Flavin though needs to catch up here. He needs to be within that one second range in order for him to be in the fight for the race win. Right now he's looking pretty good in this situation, but how will the tires be at the end of the race? That's the major, major question mark is how the performance will be on those tires. Through turns eight, up towards turn nine we go. Up towards turn nine and 10. He's got slipstream, but he ain't close enough not to do any sort of move. What man, really sending it through the chicane. You can see how committed he was through at 9 and 10, thanks to the grip of those tires. He's got all the grip in the world to use. Yellow flags are out. That's 
Phil again, I think, at turn 10. Losing it, it looks like. No, actually, it wasn't. It was Star Harmony. That might have been the uh, one involved, mainly. He has no front wing in the front uh, on his car. Dragon gets a penalty for multiple points. Through turns one and two. Geo just needs to stick in front. Although Blotman's got enormous speed into turn three we go. Geo breaks late. There's contact between the two. Blotman goes off the road. That did compromise him. A star army is out. He is retired in the pits. So he is not going to go forward to the rest. I think. Actually, I don't know. This car is stationary by the looks of things. Look at the battery used just by almost the, everybody at the front. Meanwhile, the Blotman, again, more straight line speed. Contact looked like around the outside. There's more contact. He cannot get the move done. He has to stay behind. Geo is defending hard against the Mercedes. Meanwhile, Coral. Trying to get by Taker easy into turn 11. Oh, he gets close to block Bola. Isn't close enough to do anything. Honeybee gets a penalty as well for multiple warnings. I think Gio's in trouble now. He doesn't have DRS, and blockman has got it. There he goes. Into P2 he goes. Can he catch up to Che? It's a 1.1 second margin. He's got another batch of DRS thanks to the one detection zone. Look at the gap. He's closed up by just nearly a couple of tenths. This little Mick. And, oh, actually, hey, that Coral and Black Bull around the outside goes Coral. Nice move. I thought that was a little Mick I was trying to refer, trying to get by Take It Easy that I just saw. All right. Now it's Blockman in DRS range. He'll close up on the Williams. He's flashing as well. Actually, no, he's not flashing. I thought he was for a brief moment. Through nine and dead. Look at the commitment there. All oh, the grip from the soft tires. Is he close enough to do anything here? The answer is no. Watt man right behind the Williams. But this little holdup is letting Geo gain back into the mix. As Black Ball and Mill Mick going at it at turn 12. Mill Mick goes around the outside. He gets it done. Here comes Blockman. DRS open up towards the first turn. Can he get the lead? The answer is yes. He takes the lead on lap 25 of 29. He's now into the lead of the Australian Grand Prix. As oh, Black Ball, he's out at turn two. And it's safety car number five. Are you joking? As Drag King is also as well. He's crashed out of turn three. How on earth has he done that? Five safety cars. That's probably the most safety cars I have ever seen. Literally in any race. And I'm not even joking. Five safety cars. Five. Well, I wonder if we're, uh, are we going to get any laughs with DRS left? So what does Blockman do? Does he go in for another set of softs? I, the only problem is, is that I don't think he's got any fresher set of tires. I think he's just got the ones he used in qualifying left. What does everyone do here? Do they go, do they go into the pits? Do they stay out for track position? I honestly would stay out of a track position. And that's exactly what they're doing. Oh, Coral. Thought about it. He backed out of it, though. It is legal what he did, though. It's not... He'll get, like, he'll get in trouble for it. Yeah, you can't fake your way into the pits and f get back in. It's if you cross the pit lane entry line to get into the pits. That's where you get a penalty. Subfaline those in the pits. And Liquido as well.
Yeah, I don't think I expected that many safety cars. Yeah, I think judging by all this, I think we're not going to be even on the tires. Because, well... Blomman's done seven laps now on those tires, and I think he's about equal now with the cars behind on older tires as well. But, Jay might be in a bit of an advantage on that. My goodness, though. Five safety cars. I have never in my entire time have seen that. Five safety cars in a league race. That is insanity. I get it's Melbourne. I get it's Albert Park. But, like, seriously. How does five safety cars come out? And they come out in the weirdest of circumstances, I'll admit. The last couple of them have. In the weirdest of circumstances. And judging by how many laps we're doing under the safety car, we're not going to have any laps left done with DRS enabled. So that just means that everyone's going to have to do the overtaking the old fashioned way. Alright, so I imagine the safety car then will go back into the pits very shortly. And what has been a safety car fest? Pretty much a safety car fest here at Albert Park. Only question is who the hell is gonna win this race? Right now Blotman is a very good position in terms of track position he looks very good to win this race. But like I said anything can happen. Jay looks like he's trying to draw alongside Blotman. I don't think he necessarily wants to do that. Because it really compromises your run, and I think that's the prime example right there, as you just saw. Alright, we're back in the green. Two more laps to go here in Albert Park. Blotman re leads by eight tenths. He really got a good restart out of that. Capitalizing on Jay, just trying to draw alongside. Up towards turn one we go. Jay will not be do close enough to do anything, but he might have better grip, I think, compared to Blockman. Oh, as Blockman nearly loses it. Nearly lost the back end there, the exit of turn four, as Laquito is retired at turn three. That's it for him in this race. Up towards turn nine and ten we go. Jay is dumping the battery. As best he can. Try to close up on Blotman. F half a second is the margin. Corolla is right on the gearbox of the McLaren. He's not close enough. They're into turn nine. Up towards turn 11 we go. If Blotman st stick to the lead, can he stay in front? Captain Schmeg goes by Taker Easy there into turn 11. Or will Jay get him? I think it's really going to come down to those two, and if I'm totally fair. Jay has really closed up. He's up. He's down by four and a half tenths. As we on, we're going on to the final lap of this race. Up towards the first turn. There's no DRS enabled, remember that. Through one, through two. I think Blockman got the better run out of that compared to Jay. Up towards turn three. Geo Coral still battling away. Coral gets in front. 
just about. There is contact. But the Red Bull does get through. He's up into third. Through six, seven, and eight we go. He's dumping everything. Blockman is dumping everything to stay in front of the Williams. Up towards turns nine and ten we go. Through nine and ten, Blockman gets through. Jay gets through. Only three more corners to negotiate for the race leader. So long as he doesn't make a mistake, it's looking like it's going to be a win for Blockman. Oh, battles away right behind as well. Between uh, Take Her Easy, Sparty as well. Oh, and off the road! Off the road goes Subfalime. He's out like that on the last lap. Blockman will cross the line and win the Australian Grand Prix. Jay will, win, uh, will get second place. And third place will go to Coral. And Gio will get fourth. And I think Lil Mick will get fifth out of it all. Take her easy again, driver of the day. We'll see how many positions he gained out of the course of this. Well, it's been a while since we've seen Blockman on the top step of the podium, and well, here he is. He's back on top here at Albert Park, winning the Australian Grand Prix. And probably what was the most dramatic race. Five safety cars. And almost half of the field retired. Absolute insanity. Jay getting P2 and then Coral getting P3. <laughs> Funny enough though, Jay and Blobman did the, oh, actually no, I thought they did it at identical times. So no, Jay does still keep the fastest lap. He still gets the full complement of points. But Blobman wins here in Albert Park by just 1.2 seconds. Coral P3, Geo P4, Lil Mick P5, Captain Schmeck P6, Honey B7, Saucy, Professor Phil, Take Her Easy, completing the top 10 of starting at 12th, the point of the game. Alf uh, the Alphatari Safari in 11th, Sub for Lime, Laquito, Drag King, Black Bola, Style Harmony, Rocco, Craig, Trevor, and Harmacist. I think Laquio and Subline though will be classified as finishers. <sighs> Jesus. Yeah, that was just pure drama. The entire race. A lot of safety cars. Lots of them. Five of them. Never thought I would see that in my lifetime, but we did. <laughs> yeah. I guess I will also wrap up the stream here as well. Uh, where are we at next time? I'll have a look just to make sure to clarify that. We are at Suzuka, but we've got a two-week break. So, yeah, we'll be waiting a while for that. Because for the America side, we will be having an Easter break. But the but the Pacific side of things will be back in action this weekend. With the Sunday Leagues and also the Tuesday Leagues as well. But until then, I have been K997. Thank you very much. And we will see you in a couple of weeks for round 7 of the championship. At Suzuka International Racing Course for the Japanese Grand Prix. Take care and goodbye.